up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's vlog. I'm just so excited. So today's gonna be a great day because I'm leaving the house for the first time in like three days because my swab came back negative. Yay! And we're just gonna go out and have a fun afternoon. I'm feeling so much better today. Like basically everything, all my symptoms are gone obviously because I still can't leave the house if I'm symptomatic, but I'm super excited. I'm just so happy you don't have COVID, but everything is so much better now. But I decided we're gonna have like a treat ourselves afternoon, just like a fun afternoon to myself because Matt's at work, still is taking a nap. And I don't know, today's just gonna be a great day. So I'm really excited. My Apple Watch is also coming a little later on this evening. So we're gonna do an unboxing of that when I get home, which I'm so excited about. And we're just gonna go out and run some errands. I'm actually headed to BBX Co., which if you guys don't know, I collabed with them a few months ago. They have some really awesome graphic tees. I will leave their link down below for you guys to check out their store. I have a discount code as well. Um, I'll put it on the screen for you guys if you're interested. But I'm heading over because their fall collection just came out and I picked up a scarf and it's ready for pickup. And typically I'm someone who gets everything shipped to the house. Um, I really just like hate going out right now but I really want to make it a point to explore Ottawa a bit more like I never explore my own city and so I really just like want to walk around downtown grab a coffee and explore because I never go downtown so we're gonna go stop by her shop and then we're gonna grab a coffee at Planet Coffee I've never been there before I thought I've been to all the auto coffee shops but I clearly haven't so it's gonna be such a fun afternoon and then we're gonna unbox my Apple watch and it's just gonna be such a fun day so grab a coffee grab a tea grab a matcha whatever you want and Let's head downtown and have a fun little treat ourselves afternoon. Hey guys, okay, so I just got home. Also, I had all my glasses on, so part of my appearance. And does anyone else think that glasses make them look better? Because I sure do. Um, hi, Stella. You want to see the haul too? You want to see the haul? My package, which I'm so excited about. And when I was driving home, I got an email for them that they um, wanted me to shoot in an upcoming campaign, which is so stinking cool. So that's super exciting. I'm actually wearing one of the shirts now. This is just the Manifest That Shit one. I love it. But I picked up some stuff I wanted to show you guys and just, you guys know that I love to support local and shop local. So I love supporting them. So excited about this. This is the softest bodysuit I've ever seen in my life. Um, so I'm really excited. I've been on the fence about this for a while. Just, it is a lot of money, but at the end of the day, you guys know I like to support local and sometimes supporting local does mean paying a bit more. Um, Z Supply, I'll have all the links down below. It's from Z Supply and it was $56, but I do have a 15% off discount code with them. Um, but I love it because I love how thick the sleeves are. Obviously I work and do all that stuff. So I've been really trying to find more pieces and like, I think like I'm a real adult now because I try and find more pieces that are like, versatile that I could wear to work or out. Like I could totally wear this out, but I can also wear it to work too because I could wear it with a cardigan and it's not super low. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's actually a leopard print. You guys know I've been loving the animal print and the sleeves are a bit thicker, which I love. And it's super, I wish you could feel this. It's super soft and they literally feel like a lines. So I'm really excited about this. So probably see that in like an Instagram post coming soon, but it's a little bodysuit. So stinking cute. I'm really excited. Many scrunchies. Um, oh cool. So this, person that makes these scrunchies makes them exclusively for them, which is awesome. So this is a little brand. I'll try and find their Instagram or something down below, but it's just this nice velvety scrunchie and I don't really own a lot of scrunchies. So I thought that was nice, especially. And then what I really went for was this scarf. All their fall stuff just came out. I'm so excited about this. Wow, I'm gonna wear that this weekend. Okay, so this is the Kristen scarf and her scarves are very reasonably priced if you guys want them. And I really wanted the Cheetah one, but it was already out of stock, but she said they'll be back soon. So it's just this like gorgeous, it's purple, which is like amazing. It's like this checkered, shawly, big giant scarf. You guys know how it is. I love it so much, it's so cute. So I'm really excited, but my Apple Watch is here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some makeup on really quick and film that for you guys because I feel like if this, hits the, if this hits the algorithm at all, people are gonna be here for the Apple unboxing and I, I wanna look presentable. So I'm gonna go put some makeup on really quick and we're gonna film the Apple Watch unboxing. So I'm so excited, let's do it. Hey guys, okay, I just got my Apple Watch in the mail and I wanted to do like an unboxing and first review slash impressions for you guys. I decided to get the Apple Watch SE and not the six just for a bunch of reasons. One, I just did not wanna spend like $600 on a watch. Two, I know a lot of you guys are like in college or post-grad and don't have a ton of money to spare. So I just thought it would be more considerate of me to get the cheaper one to review for you guys because if you guys are gonna upgrade, I feel like you might upgrade to the SE, not the Series 6. So I'm super excited. It finally came. So I had an Apple Watch Series 3 and it was actually perfectly fine. I didn't really feel the need to upgrade. The only reason I did was just because pretty soon Apple had said they would be phasing out of giving the older watches the updates, which 
it's a total like marketing thing i'm very very much aware of that but i thought it was time to upgrade it i've never bought an apple watch new before i've always bought the like used or open box or i've never had like the newest apple watch um, which i don't ever think you really need to but i just really wanted to treat myself i feel like i've been working super hard with youtube lately and this is just like a total treat to myself and a big thank you to you guys i'm really really excited and i wanted to do a fun little unboxing for you guys show you guys my first review of it so i just unboxed it it came in a very small box what the box looks like it just comes in this long sleek box and then i think it says on it which one i got so it's the space gray 40 millimeter it comes with this little flap that you just oh that's so smart so you have to like get scissors you just kind of peel it off wow that's so smart oh beautiful i don't even want to open it it's so pretty and then on the bottom there's like these little um and then oh i'm so excited okay i'm sorry i'm also not like on my desk or anything the lighting is just awful because it's stormy here right now because you guys are seeing it first really wanted to unbox it with that new band that they had which is like the what's it look like? i really want the band that slips on my wrist but i didn't end up getting it um they didn't have a ton left in stock and i really wanted to upgrade so they also didn't have the regular band in stock i had to get the sport band but that's okay oh I'm assuming this is the actual watch and I had the 38 millimeter before so it's about the same size a little bit bigger oh with the series 3 it all came in one box but I guess with the 6 and the SE they come in separate boxes I can't really tell but it has a little green arrow telling you which way to unpeel it that's just very convenient and nice oh it's so beautiful wow it is so pretty so so pretty part of all the watch okay let's see i'm so excited to put this together and then this oh it just has like the charger and stuff okay so the charger is just right in here charger and then so beautiful look how cute and tiny it is when it comes Alrighty, guys i always get the space gray i don't know why but this is what she looks like super tiny and i'm gonna go ahead and put the wristband yeah, i really love this color i'm definitely gonna get the black slip on one but i really like this color so they're so easy to put on you just slide it in it, and you just slide it in like that so that's what it looks like i guess i'll put it on and show you guys oh that's so pretty i have to like set it up and stuff which i'll probably show you guys that after but this is what it looks like this is new you can like change the text size and it'll show you on the watch which i like so okay so now it's sinking so you have to wait for this you have to wait for this thing to get all the way around good morning guys it is the next day happy thursday this might be a bit confusing because i'm also filming a work week vlog but um, I wanted to wait, try out the watch, and let you guys know what I thought before I like reviewed it for you guys. Um, and today is just going to be getting our life back together. I've been really slacking lately with the going to the gym <clears throat> and just like getting back on track. I feel like the word getting back on track always means the gym working out and it totally doesn't have to it can mean anything honestly if you've like been off track getting stuff done if you've been getting off track with school or work or just getting stuff done around the house it can literally apply to anything so i urge you guys today to whatever you guys are getting off track on to get back on track or get back into a routine however you want to say it but it totally doesn't need to be the gym or healthy eating i just feel like it's always associated with that but like sometimes for me getting back on track is like getting back on my a game with work or getting back on my a game with youtube or kind of whatever so i want you guys today to not necessarily get back on track or into routine with like eating and working out but whatever you guys have kind of fallen off the path with because that's okay it happens me being sick for the last two days i kind of just need to get like my life back together if that makes sense like everything back into routine so yeah but i definitely need to start eating a bit cleaner again um and also going to the gym so i booked an appointment to go to the gym at 1 30 i'm gonna try and take you guys along because you guys like that and i haven't done that in a while but yeah i'm also gonna show you guys a grocery haul right now because matt and i went to the grocery store and um we don't have anything fun except for whole foods but we definitely do our groceries at walmart just because it's cheaper and walmart is stepping their game up so i'm gonna do a big walmart grocery haul for you guys we spent around 120 dollars but i think we got a lot so i'm gonna share with you guys everything that we got okay um, so like I said, we spent around $120. I'm excited to show you guys this because this is like a real grocery haul. I feel like every time I show you guys a grocery haul, it's like always a few things. And this is like what a typical grocery haul looks like for us. We buy all of our meat and stuff at Costco. So that's not in here, but I'll show you guys what we got. So first off, 
I, I already put this in the freezer. That's why it's a little freezer-y. But just got some cinnamon raisin toast. You guys really love this. I love fresh bread. And I love my bread from Whole Foods. But we hadn't gone. So I just got this fresh bread from Walmart. Onion and roasted garlic. Sounds, sounds good. Um, some celery. Some asparagus. Some grapes. Um, some strawberries, bananas, and then I got frozen fruit for smoothies, so I got some sliced peaches. Stella is like waiting because she loves frozen fruit. Um, then I got some strawberries, one of those. Um, got some oat milk, this is my favorite one. Like I said, strawberries, bananas, cucumbers, um, just some more the silk vanilla almond milk one. Um, what else do we get? Some Uncle Ben's. We love these for dinner. I love the broccoli and cheddar ones. We got four of those. Some squeezy mayo. We got this at Costco, but it's for Stella. It's just coconut oil. My favorite crackers. So yummy. Walmart is on their A game with dairy free yogurt. I don't really love to eat it on its own, but it's really good in smoothies. Um, my favorite is the Chobani oat, so I just think it's a better selection of flavors, but we're not going to complain. Um, I just got the strawberry vanilla one oat based and then i do really like the silk i do actually not mind the silk one this is the peach one then i also just got a strawberry one and then i got the non-dairy strawberry chobani which this is coconut based and not oat based but it's still yummy i am a sucker for hamburger helper like guilty pleasure so i just got it because matt had never had a hamburger helper this one is my favorite cheeseburger macaroni got that Matt got some oats to try. Um, just they're a little bit better ingredients than, you know, the qu like Quaker Instant Pack. So we got those. Our favorite granola. Um, I'm an actual child, so I got these and I'm very excited about them. Uh, um, I actually don't mind these. So Matt loves pure protein. You guys know I try and stay dairy free as much as possible. But these are actually the best tasting protein bars I've ever had that are like walmart actually has different flavors than costco so we just got these red velvet ones matt wanted these strawberry ones the birthday cake ones so that's exciting and that's my grocery haul i hope you guys enjoyed i just wanted to show you guys one like with actual like necessities that we get because this is very typical of us so i'm gonna put all this away now and yeah so all over the place it's literally four then show you guys what we got from nespresso and then i'll probably end the vlog off this is such like a random chatty vlog but this is how Vlogtober is, you know? You guys in the States were like really confused, but Nespresso Canada has a program where you can um, send them your send them your empty pods and they recycle them for you. So that's awesome. I got some of those. And then we just got some new ones to try. I got another caramel cookie because I love this one so much and I don't want to run out. So I got that one. And then everyone was also recommending me to try the vanilla custard pie. So I got that one to try and I'm really excited. And Matt likes to do double espresso and he likes the double espresso chiaro. But I asked the guy there if he had any recommendations and he said this one is really good. It's a single shot, but you can make it like an Americano and it's like an eight on 10. And the packaging is just so nice on this one. Wow. So I got that for Matt. And then we just like to have actual like coffees. And I love trying what they recommend, honestly. Like I really, really will drink anything. So he really recommended this one, which is the Nespresso Cafe, Cafe de Cuba. Eight, and I'm really excited to try this one. I think I might have this one tomorrow. So that's my little Nespresso haul. Like I said, I just would rather be stocked up in case anything happens and stores close. part after unboxing all this is we get to clean it all up so cue cleaning up montage you haven't even said hello yet all right you guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog off here just because i'm about to start making dinner and i have to start a new vlog off for tomorrow because vlogtober life but i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy subscribe if you're not already let me know if you guys like more of these like random chatty videos like they're not necessarily the most productive or have the most like b-roll in them but i think they're just like fun and random and chatty and like this is real life to me you know so let me know if you guys enjoyed today's vlog and i'll talk to you guys next time bye